crime fighters. You have a lot to learn. It never ceases to amaze us why able-bodied young men with handy skills they could put to use to make ends meet double into armed robbery. Ironically, when the long arm of the law catches up with them in the long run, they are quick to blame the devil for their pretty comment. This is the story of these guys. What's your name? My name is Kenneth. How old are you? I'm 43 years old. 23? Yes. Are you a student? No, I'm not a student. But you attended school? Yes. What level? The secondary school. Secondary school. So what do you do for a living? I'm a tailor. Tailor? Fashion designer? Yes. So tell us how, what a tailor is doing instead of him to be in this way, a workshop. And what is he doing at the police station? What brought you in the station? It's that the police are arresting me in the village. It's police that brought me to station that I came over. Because they went to the house and arrested me two by friends. And somebody came to them and gave them information that they are armed robbers. So they now went to investigation. They get my phone to my friends. They now, they now take them to our compound. Okay, tell me sincerely, are you an armed robber? You commit to be frank. You commit to. So tell me. The occasions that you have committed, that you maybe once or twice, just tell me. It's twice. Twice. Okay, tell me the area, area, and what you rob. Bauchi and Joss. Okay, what did you rob in Bauchi? Bauchi is money that we collected from one man. How much? It's just a few money, not much amount. Okay. How was? How long ago? When, when was that? We reached like six months. What of in Joss? Joss. It's just one shop that we went. It's also few and more, not much. That is the only thing that I know about it. Good. Now, do you see anything wrong in what you have done? Yeah, I see the wrong. I see the wrong. Yes. So, now, do you think it is legitimate for the police to, to have arrested you? Yes. Okay. I'm just hearing on that information again, that you were released, that you are still having a case. Cases. Cases. And you are released on bail. Of course. Robbery cases as well. Yes, yes. Can you give me a little, just update me? Just the same thing, it's two friends. The first one happened because I was arrested in the primary school premises. Not that I was robbed with that one, it's just allegation. Yes. yes. Uh, this one, this very one that now, is, uh, I know I did it. So that first one, didn't it teach you, teach you a lesson? That first one, didn't, it, didn't you learn anything from it? I learned so much. You learned so much? Yes. So why did you have to go back into it? Well, I can't say it's a temptation of death. But you say you are a fashion designer. Yes. Is, do you or do you have a shop? No, I don't have a shop. You don't have a shop. Yes. But do you have a machine? Yes, I have a machine. Do you sew at home? Time to time. From time to time. Yes. So why didn't you concentrate on your work than this lovely work? Yeah. What was that I'm not getting enough as I want, that's why. So and you think robbery could make up for what you want. We are just in. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. did, did, okay, did robbery make up for what you want? Of course, I think that. You think? Yes. So, so it then means you made profit from robbery? Yes. Good. Now, tell me, how do you rob these people? I went to them with gun. I pointed them with gun. I start money from them, they give me, I say, I of money, they give me, as I collected the money, I went away, I didn't touch them, no you don't know anything. Okay. Now, supposing on a certain day, you are sewing in your house, somebody brings a gun and say, that machine that you are using to sew, he wants the machine, how would you feel? I feel bad. So do you think there's anything wrong in what you have done to those people? Yeah, it's wrong. Have you ever sat down and think about what you are doing to people. Yes. And after thinking about it, you still go back and rob again. No. You still now, because if you, you did the first one in Bauchi, you rob somebody of money. Yeah? 
you went back home, you sat down, you thought of it. It's not good. But still, you still came to Joss and you went to another, for another robbery, to another robbery. And you said this, you said you, you do think. So reconcile it. What have you said now? What is what have you won? You won't like it if somebody do it to you. And two, you are doing it to somebody. So I want you to tell me, me you, I want you to reconcile it. What you are doing to people, is it good? It's not good. So why are you doing it? Do you, okay, do you think those people, do you think they just wake up, they slept, they wake up, and then it's, the money is beside them, or they now see the money inside their wardrobe? They work for it. Some even spend hours, some even sleepless nights working for the money. And you went there and deprived them. My brother, you should have conscience. Have conscience. Look, if somebody should do it to your parents, suppose you get to your maybe one morning you wake up, you say, Let me go and see my father and mother. Or get it there, you see your father crying like a baby, you see your mother crying like a baby. When you ask them, What you why, why are you crying? You say arm robbers came to rob us of our money. Probably those arm robbers are even your friends. How would you feel? feel bad. So why are you doing it to somebody? What are the benefits you what tell, tell me one benefit you derive? No, no, not benefit. Not benefit. Not benefit. Yes. I hope you will learn a lesson yes. after this one yes. and change. Yes. So tell me the lesson that you've learned so far. Uh, because the way I'm here now, I'm not enjoying the way that I find myself here now. I feel so bad because it's a shameful thing to my family, to myself too. So I learned something much about it. I feel it painful. Okay, in your own group, how many of you are in your gang? Well, we are five or six in number, but we are just two that we was arrested. So how many guns do you have? All of you possess guns? Yeah, it's two guns. Two only? Yeah. So you hold one? Yeah, the rest of us two. My name is Okan Lai. Okan Lai. I have 23 years. Are you married? No. You are not married. So you know this man standing beside you? Yes. Is he your friend? Yes. So tell me, what brought both of you together? Commit offense. Commit offense? What kind of offense? Rob. Rob. What kind of rob? You see rob plenty of. We get you when you take the go show gun. And go show gun. Tell me how. Show me an example how they show the gun. I don't know. We go rob somebody. About you. About you. How much you rob for them? Say show money. Why? Just to chop money. We go find them. And chop money. Okay. I wish you that one again. And just. And just. And which other one again? It's only two. Only it's two. First time, yes. This is your first time? Yeah. Oh, until, yeah. until you don't attend times when you see you don't go away. This is the first time. Okay. Why I regret it? You regret that? Yeah. I don't regret that. If they leave you now, you know you go there again. Yeah. Yeah. So tell me, what do you make you even go to this room? Influence. Influence. Friends. Friends. Uh, tell me how they take care of friends. How they take care of friends. But they tell you shall say now I love you, you know. Talk to and tell you and you make up your mind to follow them. So because I'm not doing myself. Because after you don't shack up. And then pray for the drink when you shack. So now you can follow them go. So when you follow them, go the first one, finish. What do you call it? You go to second mission. You go to second mission because the money they, they switch to spend, have you? The money when uh, they switch to spend, not be so. Yeah. Uh -huh. So that make you go for the second one. So the second one, uncle, they still force you to. No. You said, they not, that one, they not shock you again, and you go with your clear eyes. Mm. Okay, give me a typical scenario. 
when I reach the place, how do they act? Just give me a little bit of action. So how until they get in the information? How until they get information on that place? This is where they go wrong. Friends, friends will come and tell us say something will happen. This is okay. Please follow me. So now we just organize and I said, for just here, we are not for the meet. Just to meet a jungle. We are just selling small people. Any small jungle. So now even fit take the back of this police station and sell zone and meeting point. Many we are very push this. So, how many of you are doing a camp? Six. Six. Where the rest of you are? Only two. Where the rest now? Where is the... 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 So, now I'll take police go there. Go where they stay. Out of their girlfriends, because... Well, they feel they with their girlfriends. I don't see their girlfriends. So, out of your own girlfriend, your own girlfriend don't come see you. Now, your condition now. She is with you, you'd like her. No, I'm feeling bad. I'm like her. Where do you live? I live in just uh, do say this. So uh, what do you do as your business? I'm a businessman. What, what kind of business? I'm into show business. Show business. So tell us briefly how you come into the I mean when you came in possession of these cars and how you were arrested by the police. Well, we all know we are all familiar with the economic decadence in the society. Yes, so it is not my own making. I'm a graduate, and uh, by virtue of that, I'm supposed to have a responsibility to my family and to the family, to my family and to the entire public. But uh, considering what I said priorly, we discovered that the situation is so terrible in the country. Sometimes uh, you even get employment is a problem. You get employment, you are not paid. So. I need to make uh, extra arrangements to take care of my immediate needs. So that was what prompted me into this. Ordinarily, nobody wants to identify with uh, robbery cases and the rest of it. I'm really ashamed of myself, but then it has happened. So, so how did you start? Well, I probably I had a little a minor case concerning a set uh, some two years ago. Then, uh, fortunately or unfortunately, I ran into some clicks in the prison custody who told me it's better I go into something bigger than uh, involving myself in all this uh, linear stealing around. So when really, we came out, uh, one of them located me in my office and introduced me to the business. That was how it all started. So, who was your first victim? And where did you start your, your, first, your first operation? Uh, well, my first victim was a, a man, I think, the part, I'm very sorry, I'm psychologically derived now, but the yeah, only thing I feel I can remember, I'll tell you. Yeah, yeah. My first victim was somewhere around the hospital, I can't remember precisely. Probably he went there to check a, a sick person or whatever. He came out, in the first place, I never even used a gun for that. I only harassed him because I didn't have uh, assets to the gun then. But it was dark, so nobody wants to, you know, we all know that power flows from the barrel of the gun. Yeah. So he came out and uh, I moved him, handed over the vehicle to somebody who took it to Abuja. I don't know the buyer assigned there. So yours is just to get a vehicle, give to somebody, and they dispose. Yes. So what do you get? Uh, it brings my remuneration. Sometimes it's always peanuts. It's not even capable of establishing a business. But what do you do? So how do you come to know these guys? I never knew this guy from Ada. What of the other ones? Uh, yeah, he is my friend. I won't say because we have committed this man. So how was he involved? Uh, somehow, somehow he knew the other guy that introduced me to this business. And most times when the guy comes into town, he has always, most of the time, his What host. about business? <coughs> cast mm -hmm. So that was I came to know. So during, this, your, during the course of your business, how many people have you killed or never injured? I've never done that. So, and I don't intend to do that. So, do you, how many of you go out for the operation? Um, I can say just uh, three of us. Not mine. 
not this person. I, I only went out with him once, and the other guy is at lunch, right? And I think the police are about to get him. Okay. So, tell me, how were you arrested by the police? Well, they did a wonderful job. They came to my office, they wanted to get me there. I was uh, able to escape them. My wife was beat from my father-in-law, and I couldn't stomach that because they never committed any offense. So I needed to make arrangements to give them succor. In the presence of that, I was apprehended by the police. So why were you running when you know you committed an offense? Ah, a guilty conscience needs no accuser. How <laughs> conventionally, if you are in my position, you will want to escape. That's the truth. But you know that anything that has a beginning should surely have an end. Definitely. So why, when the end came, why do you have to take to your risk and put your wife into a trauma? And that is why I'm here right now. Even though because of my wife, I had all the facilities to get out of town. So now, how do you feel? I feel so remorseful and bad, uh, but there is nothing I can do. I must still want it. So how old are you? I'm 31. Do you know that guy? Yes. So, uh, now tell me, how were you arrested by the police? How come from show business to police station? First and foremost, this is Yaka here. Brought the car for me. Who on Seriki is free? To buy or how? I or to sell? And expose it. Dispose it. Yeah. So I now took it to Abuja. I now took it to Abuja. I was the same person that introduced him to this business. You introduced him as well? No. The same person. Okay. We just the two of us together. Okay. I was on the previous customer. So this guy now came in with a Honda bullet. Something on the chip with a Honda product, which I now took to Abuja. And that is how I get into the link. Okay. Uh you also you did you say you met this guy in prison? Your next no. So boy, boy, have you been to prison before? Yeah. What took you to prison? On um, lost position. Of what? How many what was the sentence? There was no sentence. It's no sentence. It's still Tell me how you will meet and how you plan it. How will meet? How your groups? How do you create just three? Hmm? Only two. Yes, well, how did the three of you meet and carry out your operation? You know there is a large you know, come from Abuja Press. When he comes, sometimes he calls. So when he calls, he's he not telling me to meet us. Automatically, you know, this is my first time and this is the first one. So how not carrying out any operation of my car. This is the first one. So I was arrested. So how do you get your arms? My arms. Mm -hmm. How do the three of you get ammunition? The arms the gun I saw once was. Hmm? The gun I saw once was um Femi. The guy that came out. Um, now, supposing in this case now, you are sentenced back to prison, do you have any regrets? Why? What are your regrets? I'm still I'm still I'm still young, I still I think I still have more way to go. Mohammed, where you they stay? We stay for Jos. Where for Jos? So how you can take meet this people when you come? No, no, one day they come and bring me to this me for this one. Uh -huh. So what do you with this one get together? And he going to do for what they say then they miss camera. I think this that I don't know the way we are going to do it. The one one is when when we miss him give way to get car. We're going to give them. We're going to take me to Bochi. Later I did Bochi, they enter one house, carry car with me, because I'm we are dropping the phone. We're going to tell you this guy. I'm going to give this guy. John. Me and Daddy are going to give him the car. He take the car for you, John. Me and Logan know anything they do against the car. They will give me some cover. OK, one day, I'll come up from a house. I'm going to go to this. One guy will come with the phone. The one who give me the car. He can see me chopping money. 
Okay, so the one, so the one they give me, you give Austin. So, how much Austin give you? How many times? How many times you with us? How many times you don't carry him to give Austin? This one, the first one. This one, the first one. So, the police will ask me the so why you say go carry a motor from somebody when you don't know how they take the motor? Uh, you know, say, not devil. So now your business when you do for outside, your market where you they sell, who do they, who they follow you they sell the market? Yeah, uh, against my family, my brother's city. Your brother is yes. But are you they happy now for this situation? I know happy for myself. I shame for myself because I have been dirty children. Okay, if your mother or your father or your children can see you for, for outside now for television, or it's your wife. It's a shame thing for me. It's a shame thing. Yes. So what do you get to tell people? And there may be good day for outside the team, the advice I will give them now. Nobody could try to do this kind of thing against because it's a bad thing. This was not a good life. Okay. Right. In my age, I'm 40, 40 years now. I don't want to do this before. The first one is this. Okay. 